We have two wonderful teachers from Albemarle High School coming up, and they're going to share a project that we uh, were really fortunate to get to kind of go on a week-long trip and uh, play around in someone's basement in Asheville, North Carolina, and make some uh, wooden hand planes. Um, anyone use a hand plane in their class before? Yeah? Anyone use one that's completely all wood and just a metal blade? Oh, very cool. Very cool. Um, so we, we got an opportunity to kind of just take this cool class, and we took a week off of our lives and uh, just made wooden hand planes for an entire week. Um, and it was super fun. And they took the project to a whole new level, brought it to their students, and uh, I'll let them share the story. They teach uh, CTE classes, engineering, uh, design, CAD, um, and a bunch of other things sprinkled throughout, uh, uh, computer science as well. Um, so uh, they're here to share the project um, from Almarle High School, um, Philip Plowman and Trey Barlow. So I don't know if you guys know Mr. Brett at all. Uh, cool guy. Uh, feel lucky to know him. Um, met him last year, maybe two years ago. I don't know. Met him sometime. And uh, he and I are very similar. Uh, I don't plan a lot uh, as much as I should. I just always dream big of like, oh, wouldn't it be great if uh, I built this thing? Um, and he was like, oh, what if, what if we what if we build hand planes? And then, you know, because if you make a tool, then you can make more tools with that tool and you can make everything. Uh, so I have two kids and I have a... My life's crazy. If you don't have young siblings, um, they demand a lot of your time. Uh, there's still peanut butter and jelly on the door of when I was trying to do this project. Uh, so in one day, we uh, catted, as Mr. Brother would say, uh, we, we catted this design. Uh, we researched it, kind of. Uh, at least I kind of did. And then built it all in one day. It's kind of crazy. Uh, there's our glue up. And uh, as it turns out, um, I learned later in North Carolina, uh, it's really uh, important to have a really precise throat. Luckily, I could just flip the blade around and it, it actually uh, creates shavings. It's okay. Uh, so there's our first one. As you can see, had to re had to move the pin, so I had to put dowels in. Oh, it was just gotta... Laser pointer? Nope. Okay. Right, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it wasn't perfect. Uh, so we went down to Ashland, which is, is Ashland? No, Asheville. 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 Yeah. Not a lot of planning. <laughs> uh, and we met uh, Scott Meeks, who makes these amazing, like, crazy, awesome hand planes. And uh, we learned a whole lot. It was uh, tons of fun. Ate a lot of great restaurants. Um, and uh, we learned really important uh, key is got to have your equipment set up. She fell asleep. That's what caught my eye. Uh, so luckily, Mr. Brutter, in his infinite wisdom, figured out how to uh, level and uh, realign this joiner. And then we're back in action, making some hand planes, doing lots of glue ups and waiting and uh, doing a lot of hand rasping. That's a lot of work uh, if you've never done that. Um, and this is what we end up with. This is was a jack plane, so it's kind of short. It's a um, white oak body, and it's got ipe as the sole. It's really dense wood. Um, doesn't really ever rot. Really expensive. Comes out of the rainforest, sadly. And uh, yeah, so that was the first one I made. And then that was the second one. So uh, training is pretty important. Um, but we took this whole what we learned um, and brought it back to the kids, and I teach design, so in design class we designed several styles of hand planes and uh, handed off all of those technical drawings that we made, so we learned a bunch of skills uh, and gave it to the engineering classes for them to build. Right. Um, so yeah. Um, so my class is tools and manufacturing where we learn about uh, using uh, tools safely, um, what tools to use for what type of cuts. Um, so my students had a choice of what designs uh, Mr. Plowman's class uh, came up with. And um, so once they have chose which, um, which design they wanted to build, they um, started to s square up and um, prepare some stock to uh, make 
um, some wood out of um, their planes. So, um, so this is uh, sort of an example of one of the designs um, one of my uh, students had made. Um, so um, a big thing is understanding uh, what is the design um, saying, what uh, what dimensions uh, make sense. Um, that's something I stressed. Um, as a manufacturer, you're going to have to be able to decipher designs and make them real and present them to your customer and uh, sell them, basically. So um, that was one thing I was trying to stress. And um, and then that's another uh, another design that um, one of my students made. So these are just uh, different versions of hand planes that all the kids kind of made different designs. And then um, the, his students got to choose which ones they made for themselves to take home. Yep. Uh, so, yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, you yep. did that. There's yep. Little, yeah, so that's just on the joiner uh, he, at uh, Almar High School. Uh, Zaylin, too bad he couldn't make it. But David is here, so hopefully you uh, get to talk to David. And uh, that's just a miter saw. Um, okay. And so, yeah, one of the big um, things is uh, measurements, um, learning how to glue up, like glue uh, planes up, um, Knowing what order um, to assemble certain parts in a plane, that's super important. Uh, we had some difficulties getting our steel for our iron, so um, some of the uh, procedures or the order of, of assembling the plane was a little off, so uh, we didn't actually get our cross pins because it wasn't exactly accurate. You have to make sure you have your wedge and your irons mate first, then you can um, accurately put in your cross pins. That was one of the hurdles we had uh, this year, but we're going to clean that up uh, next year. Yeah. yeah so um, <clears throat> that was a little bit more, uh, you know, all hand, hand made, hand cut, all that glue up. Um, we took it to another level and um, took our CAD drawings and, well, that's, you know, we actually cut our own irons and sharpened painfully sharpened and resharpened and then it nice uh, <coughs> edge chipped and then had to redo it so that's like you know three hours of sharpening so that was fun um, and then we actually uh, CNC milled and cut out a hand plane and that's this guy right here this is prototype here um, and it still required some hand rasping but it's cool uh, this student I think really learned that you really want the machine to do as much work as possible because rasping all of that off takes a long time. And in a business, time is money, so you want to reduce your labor. Um, but it, it actually makes shavings. Uh, I think this person is going to redesign it. Um, Aiden made this. So that's, um, you know, all these videos could have been cool. <laughs> Didn't work. Right. Uh, and, and that's what we ended up with. So first prototype, going to redesign as, as all things go. Uh, but it was pretty awesome to be able to design and go all the way to that, that product uh, with pretty minimal labor. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we did. Yep. It was fun, I think. <laughs> <laughs>